we know that the universe is really huge, that the sun is not the only star in the vast universe, and that the earth is just one of the billions of planets that exist. But are we, the human race, the only living beings in the universe? It would not be strange if there were other planets where life could have developed long before humans. So in recent investigation, the James Webb Telescope, with the help of a group of prestigious scientists, have identified two galaxies that could harbor very powerful alien and para-advanced civilizations several light years away from us. Stay with us to discover the two galaxies that harbored these alien civilizations more powerful than us. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news about the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel, be sure to like this video, share it so it reaches more people, and turn on the notification bell. A postdoc at China's National Astronomical Observatory and his scientific team scanned apart the northern sky to search for these hyper-advanced beings. With the help of several sophisticated instruments, whose margins of error are negligible, out of the 21 galaxies studied, there are two outliers. Although a remote possibility, but not out of the question, these two galaxies could be precisely what scientist Chen is looking for. Together with Michael Garrett, they examined the results from the LOFAR instrument, which is gradually capturing the entire northern sky in radio waves in hope of finding a civilization. But to understand what he was looking for, let's first break it down a bit. In the vast universe, the possibility of life forms varies drastically. From primitive bacteria-like microbes and simple microorganisms, through complex life forms such as marine animals, to highly advanced alien civilizations capable of traveling at the speed of light and creating matter, plus colossal structures for their full technological development that would be the closest thing to a Type 3 civilization. What is a Type 3 civilization on the Kardashev scale? To quickly summarize, the Kardashev scale measures the degree of technological advancement of a hypothetical alien civilization based on the amount of energy it consumes. The scale has three types of civilizations. Type 1 civilization, which is capable of using all the available energy of its home planet. The Type 2 civilization, which is able to use all the energy of its parent star and the entire star system. The Type 3 civilization, the most advanced, which can harvest as much energy as the entire galaxy in which they are located. It must be remembered that humanity has not even been able to become a Type 1 civilization. We would now be on a scale of 0.73 on the Kardashev scale, since we are still dependent on fossil fuels and other factors that, for other advanced beings, would be very primitive. On the other hand, a Type 3 civilization could use the stars of its galaxy to harness all the energy using the hypothetical structure called the Dyson Sphere. These theoretical megastructures completely surround a star to harvest its energy output. As a civilization becomes technologically advanced and exhausts its planetary energy sources, it would need to draw energy away from its planet. Drawing energy from the nearest star would be the best bet. To do so, an advanced civilization would have to create an artificial sphere around the sun to harness its vast amounts of energy. According to English physicist Freeman Dyson, a Dyson Sphere could be constructed from millions of individual solar harvesting satellites. So probably, a Type 3 civilization would have placed Dyson Spheres not only on its host star, but also on neighboring stars. Returning to the main theme of the video, the researchers of the new study suggest that they can find a Type 3 civilization by looking at the mid-infrared emissions from these Dyson Spheres. With the help of the James Webb, the researchers observed emissions from 21 galaxies with high mid-infrared emissions. Four of these galaxies had mid-infrared emissions increased by a factor of 10. The scientist in charge of the research explains that there is a correlation between the infrared radio emissions of each galaxy. Galaxies emit radiation in the entire infrared spectrum, which gives information about heat. And in this aspect, several data were found from which it is assumed that it is an alien escape. So that left two unidentified galaxies and possible hosts of a Type 3 civilization. 
This means that scientists could not find out the cause of its peak emissions in the mid-infrared. In short, these two galaxies presented unusual emissions in the infrared, which is not present in other galaxies studied, and which could mean that in those galaxies, there are a myriad of colossal structures or Dyson spheres, which would be causing these emissions in the infrared, product of the increase and decrease of energy of the stars that have been used for such a galactic project. The two galaxies that were the protagonists of this impressive research were named as follows. In the second half of the 20th century, in 1961, Frank Drake estimated the result of the equation that bears his name. This equation calculated neither more nor less the number of possible extraterrestrial civilizations with which we could have the option of communicating given their technological development, all based on the cosmological principle. Since the universe is homogeneous and isotropic, we can consider the fraction of stars in our Milky Way that are like the Sun, which is quite high. Subsequently, we can calculate the probability that such stars have planets orbiting around them, which is also quite high. We can then calculate the probability that these planets are at a distance from their star that guarantees temperatures suitable for the development of life. Finally, we added the much smaller probabilities that life will eventually form that it will be intelligent, and that it will also develop the technology necessary to communicate with us during its stay in the universe. The surprising result was that we could be contacting about 10 different extraterrestrial civilizations right now, of which we have not detected any. As expected, several groups of scientists reviewed the hypotheses made by Drake and notoriously reduced our chances of contact which I am not clear whether it is good or bad, by considering less optimistic hypotheses regarding the prosperity of civilizations and genetic evolution. Whether Drake's calculation is true or not, the underlying idea is important. If the probability of life in a region of the universe is not zero, and the universe is, for all practical purposes, infinitely large, what is relevant is not that there is much chance that we have neighbors. What is important is, for the most skeptical, that we are most likely not alone in the universe. Undoubtedly, this is an unprecedented discovery, where we could already say that there are signs of advanced life in the universe, and we could dream of advanced beings very different from us, both in appearance and in thought. Who knows, maybe they know of our existence, but do not take us even a little importance for a possible contact. So, the researchers also plan to expand their search for alien civilizations to a wider region of the cosmos, to cover the entire northern sky, with the goal of finding more clues to prove that we are not alone in this vast and, so far, infinite universe. Thank you very much for watching the video. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more content like this.